Today we are talking guilty pleasures. Well, really, we're going to take the dog for a walk and we're going to go to the bakery to get some lunch. Guilty pleasures? Mm -hmm. See my wallet? Probably in your car. We. Hello everyone and welcome back to Off Course with the Robinsons. How are you? Good, thank you. I don't know, I'm asking how you are. I've spent all day with you. We're working yeah. from home and it's been a bit boring, hasn't it? So we're going to go to the bakery to get some lunch. Mm. And I thought, what a great time to talk about guilty pleasures. We're going to talk TV, music and just general life stuff, really. So for me, I got the idea for this when we were... What have we been watching on telly? Married at First Sight Australia. Married at First Sight Australia and it's just... I was like, James, you've got to watch this. And like initially I didn't like it, but then I've sort of come round full circle to it and I watch it all the time. Not just that, but it's like shitty background TV, like trashy TV. Yeah, it's so bad. But, but you then, can't stop watching it. And you at the moment watch like six episodes after each other. Yeah, and I've started watching Ballers again on Sky, which is Dwayne Johnson and is Mark Wahlberg involved, I think. But anyway, I can, yeah, really, really, really that's not so much a guilty pleasure, but I think I've kicked it off already. My TV guilty pleasure is married at first sight Australia just because they all like they all like cheat on each other and that don't they and it's quite I think a lot of it must be staged like it can't yeah, like be every dinner part is a drama isn't yeah it? it can't be if you watch it you know if you don't watch it then <laughs> uh, you probably don't but also guys make sure you hit that subscribe button because when we get to 10,000 Laura's gonna make some merch yeah I need a thousand idiot. more subscribers. Yeah, we need a thousand more, and we've got mics on today as well. So anyone who's anyone who's been moaning about the audio, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> so go on. Then, what's your guilty pleasure, Laura, for TV? For TV, I mean, I do like keeping up with the Kardashians. Like it is. That's horrendous. That's just. <sighs> it's a bit of a dagger in the heart now. They're stopping filming. Oh, thank God. I know. But I think it's like game shows, like the new one Lingo, I'm a little bit upset. I watched that the other what? day and I was, there's a new game show called Lingo. Ling, is that to do with languages? Mm -hmm. Well, words. Oh, right. That's a good one. She loves Bradley Walsh as well. Anything with yeah. Bradley Walsh in. You know, um, Breaking Dad. Breaking like Bad? No, there's Breaking Dad with oh, Bra right. Bradley and Barney Walsh. Barnaby? Barney. Barney, sorry. Sorry, Barnaby. That the only bad thing about that is that it's not long enough. Oh. Honestly, half an hour is not. So when long. that goes on, I that's not my plan. I go down and do some editing in the office or something like that. Mm -hmm. That's not not my bag at all. But guys, yeah. give those comments below. What is your guilty pleasure? We're going to talk TV, music, and like I said, general life. My general life one's a bit weird. So stay tuned for that. I've probably made a really cool thumbnail as well with Laura, like with a provocative smile or something, just to get people in. So if you've enjoyed that, then. <laughs> Hit the like button as well. I'm getting quite good at those, aren't I? Need to get you making some. Nah. Are you? Re I'm red hot. Are you red hot? It's too oh, warm sorry, today. But... Um. That's windy. So music-wise, we all know. Well, anyone who's friends with you knows. But I'm um, go on. Give us a chorus. No, I can't. Please. No. Nope. Go on. No, I have to be drunk. Which is most of the time. But what is it? I'm like a massive. Don't laugh. Shania Twain fan. That don't impress me much. Wee! You got me good. <laughs> <laughs> and I can vouch for that that Laura is literally when she's had a couple Just one of, drink. No, a couple of proseccos maybe or a, or a white wine mm -hmm. and that's it. She's but gone. I'm telling you now, any party you go to, any wedding you go to and the dance floor's looking a little bit empty. Man, I feel like a woman and the dance floor's full 100%. And that's coming from a party organiser. Mm -hmm. So, there. Uh, my, should we go that way, past the train? Because there's all roadworks over there. Do you my, remember when I danced in the pub on my own? I do it? remember very much when you danced on the pub, dog. So I remember dragging, yeah. you, dragging you home and then putting you in bed. My guilty pleasure when it comes to music is actually Avril Lavigne. That was my first big, like whenever people wow. say, oh, Let's put a song on. It's um, That's so complicated. Skater Boy or something like that. Yeah, complicated. Great. And it's not something I'm overly as a train coming. Nope. It's amazing this. Look how far you can see down there. Oof. Better and move. Doorstep. Yeah, for me, it's uh, it's quite a good little. Well, it brings uh, back your youth. Yeah, bring it back. Yeah, but are you embarrassed by that? To be honest. James. Oh, best to. Uh, we don't want the. I thought with me doing the filming, you might do the doors, but nope. there we go. 
To be honest, if you know me at all... That isn't a guilty pleasure if you're not embarrassed by it. Like, it's when a song comes on the radio and you know all the words, but like subconsciously you weren't aware that you knew all the words, you're singing along to it. So you know my music taste probably as well as anyone. What would you say my guilty pleasure is then? Because I'm not going to lie, Bless I'm... Me. I'm not guilty about that, I don't care. I don't really get embarrassed about anything. You can't, you can't walk around a new village with a camera in your hand up above, walk past all your neighbours and be embarrassed and then be embarrassed about like a song you like. I just have no shame at all. So that's, no, like that lorry like, driver there is wondering what's going on, but I don't care. Like, Matt, so you're not embarrassed by like Mambo number five or like... I don't like it though. It's not a pleasure. Do you know all the words? Yeah, but it's not a pleasure. I don't like it. It is because you know all the words. No, it's not, that's not how it works. So you have to enjoy your brain it. Likes it. No, you have to enjoy it though, and I don't enjoy that. I think it's rubbish, garbage, some would say. Maybe a few Robert Williams songs, Angel, something like that. Right. Yeah? Um, so there, man. What's your, oh, we've done your music one, haven't we? Yeah, or oh, five. I'm a big, five. Big fan Go on, of give 90s. us a chorus to that at least, because you're amazing nope. at that, please. Nope. If you you're remember, getting down, baby. Do you remember Escada? Oh, I can't believe that Escada? didn't. Escada. Yeah, go on. Cascada. That's it. Every time we touch. No, evacuate the dance floor for me. Wow. Wow. Well, um, have you had a thought about your real life one? A real life one? Well, can you give me an example of yours? So, my guilty pleasure in real life is, get ready for this, this is like a scoop. I just love my back scratching. Um, I just absolutely love it. And it's a bit like... Again, I just have no embarrassment, I have no shame, so I've got no We're problem telling you that. We're getting to where he just rolls over like that just and he'll... Literally, go. like, there's no... How cool is that little van? That's so cool. He was really happy as well. And that's what I enjoy. I just love the idea that people see this and smile. Huh. I like it when people laugh as well, because I, I, just, I think it's sad what if you... my real life guilty pleasure? Yeah, come on. Where are they going? Are they going... No, Cleo, don't. look. That's a Cleo number plate on a Cleo. I reckon he's bought that off the forecourt. Cleo-ish, anyway. Come on, because I've, I've spiced the title up, but you've got a really good one. See, it's that embarrassing, she's too embarrassed to even say. Well, what do you think it is? Uh, I'll tell you what, we're just about to go into the bakery and get the lunch, so I'll give you some time to think while you... Are you going in or am I going in? I will, because you'll mess up the order. I will. I'll come back with like three Bakewells and egg custard and that's... Exactly. That'll be our lunch, so. Um, have you got a mask? Wonder, are they mask or pants? Um, I could tell you what a guilty pleasure is, but you never talk to me again. So. <laughs> yeah, let's um, let's get some food. See, so is it cute? I've got loads of time to think about it for you. Hmm. He's on his lead, so we're all right. That's why everyone says you should get next, by the way. Should we do a video on it? Churn. They're a bit more expensive. Uh, we'll see. Like Depends it. how you get it, doesn't it? Can I have some cake? No. Mm. How far did you run this one? Five. No. Twenty-seven. It's probably worth a bake well. No? Mm. Okay. What's up, mate? Jay? Jameson and his nemesis from over the road. Those four cookies, if you don't mind. Here she is. What we got? Ooh. Nope for you. Oh. Right, mission accomplished. Laura has the goods. What we got? Got a ham sandwich. Mm -hmm. I've got a ham salad sandwich. Mm -hmm. I might have got you a cookie. Yes, get in. So I've had some thinking time. And I've actually thought of one more for me yeah. and two for you. Then. So my second one is watching Alex Etches on YouTube. True. Because, I mean, we're mates, but... A bit obsessed. I, I watch them all, and I don't think he watches any of mine, so I think that's a bit of a... Uh -huh. uh, I'll have to message him and, and find out if he does watch any yeah. of them. But yeah, that's my guilty pleasure, because it, it's not for the golf, it's for the comedy. He's just so funny. Yeah. Like, he cracks me up with some of them, but that's, that's, that's my other one. So one of yours is your Mark Wright morningly routine. True. And I'll, uh, I might even grab a video of her doing it and put that on because it's, uh, you hate it when people interrupt you, don't you? Yeah. So that's like a workout routine she does every morning. To be fair, you've, you've loved it and you've done really well with it. Yeah. But it is a bit of a guilty pleasure. And then yeah. the other one, I think... Like sometimes I wake up and I think, ugh. But then when I've done it, I'm like, oh. Is it because you fancy him? 
No. No. Oh, good. Um, Just because in lockdown he did everything, he, did, he does it for free. Yeah. You don't pay an, um, excuse me, you don't pay a membership or, you know, and now I don't have to pay for it and I don't have to go to the gym. I can do it in my own living room. Oh, I can't wait for gyms to open though. No. Yeah, I just went to get in the jacuzzi and the sauna and then that's me done, but so there's a lot of twigs on this side. Um, and then you, your other one, I think, is this channel. Because you act like you don't really love it, but you're always checking the analytics of every video and always looking at them. And it's like, I think you almost act, but it's not. But then you love it. Which way are we going? Straight on. Traffic lights. Straight there. over. I oh, can't wait for the pub to open as well, to be fair. Ooh, fish and chips on a Friday. Yeah, I'd say. Well, it's a new thing, isn't it? Me. Is it a pleasure or is it a hindrance? Does it annoy you? I mean, it, it's easy for men because you just roll out of bed and put some clothes on and you're ready to go. Whereas every time I need to do a video, I have to get myself you don't ready. Know. I don't no. know. I think my boldness with it annoys you as well. Like when I'm walking around now and I just don't care like what yeah, anyone like, says. Yeah, <laughs> and I just walk straight through. And if people have a problem with me holding the camera up, then that's their problem, not mine. Just like if people have a problem with wearing my cap backwards, your problem, not mine. So. Um, That's really got to be that, hasn't it? It's not, I just think it's a bit, we're going up this way. Um, yeah, so that is a quick video. Oh, that dog, honestly. Where do you think you're going? He thinks that the uh, bakery run was for him, but it wasn't. So that was a quick video on our guilty pleasures. It's more uh, a bit of filler for you, that video. We've got a really cool couple of videos coming, haven't we? Yeah, we have actually. Yeah, some good you, that you've thought out of. Yeah. Which you actually were getting really good at that. A lot of people commented on the last video with the, the split video where we had, yeah, you know where you had yeah, your camera and I had mine and, and people really enjoyed that. So that was your idea. I'm not taking no, you didn't tell me to. any credit for that. So really good. Oh, that's big of you. Yeah, that's okay. So uh, yeah, and lots of cool stuff to come. So should Laura get a Tesla? I'm just, for me, I'm in that bracket. So like, I'm not willing to spend James spends the money, I save it. Hold on. I'm just not willing to spend 300 quid a month on a car. It's probably more than that, to be fair. Exactly, that's <laughs> what I'm saying to you. But if everyone subscribes and likes, then you'll be able to. We... No. <laughs> so I'll tell you what, he's doing my head in. So we're going to finish it all with, 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 with Matt up with his nemesis as well. You know, that's why he's running, because he can smell can smell that um, dog Quite up there. Beautiful. No, but I pay £214 a month now. It's a good deal on that. But to be fair, that's just because it's a good deal. It's not because it's cheap. It's, it's you, you got it at the right time, so. Yeah, so um, I'll do that again, but it needs to be on the right car. Yeah, but for the sake of a video, I think we're going to properly discuss a Tesla and properly discuss the finances behind it and if it could work, mm. because for the mileage you do. Yeah, and sometimes I have three venues that we yeah. travel to so imagine if you weren't paying any diesel the nearest one is 30 miles away yeah when you're back in this is going to be a full video but when you're back in full flow of work and you <gasps> which isn't long and you're spending i thought something happened then no and you're spending what 100 200 pound every couple of weeks on diesel you wouldn't be doing anyway we're, we're sidetracking so guys thanks for watching laura lead us out uh... just say bye I'm going to go enjoy my ham sandwich now. <laughs>